hello again welcome to architect vela here what we are going to uh, what we are going to do now uh, we are going to uh, solve another questions uh, like uh, first we have uh, we are cover about abstract class question about uh, abstract class question now what we have to do we just solve package package concept question okay here uh, here third sub modules contains package okay so now we are going to solve package modules questions one by one okay so for that what we have to do we have just uh, firstly we just go through first question okay firstly we need to understand what exactly the question uh, asked from me okay and ask from you uh, like uh, here what the question is question question is create a package create a package called test package okay create a package called test package okay create a package called test package we need to we need to create a test package okay package wh what is package package here package is nothing but it is a it is just like a file okay it is just like a file okay after that we need to define a class called foundation inside the test package okay after that we need to define uh, after that we need to define a class okay class uh, the class name is foundation inside the inside the test package okay now inside the class you need to define four integer variables okay inside the class you need to define four integer variables first one is that is var1 second one is var2 third one is var3 and var4 okay var1 var2 var3 var4 both are these all are in different in nature okay first one is in private in nature second one is default third one is protected and fourth one is public okay these all uh, variables contains different data types okay so before going to solve this question firstly we need to understand what do you mean by java package a java package is a group of similar type of classes okay interface and sub package okay a uh, package in java can be uh, categorized in two forms okay firstly we uh, firstly we need uh, we we create uh, we uh, we have built in package and second one is user defined package okay there are many built in package like uh, uh, java lang awt java x swing okay here uh, now uh, just uh, just go on the question just go on the uh, just go on the coding part like what we have to do we are just opening opening my files and here uh, here we have a code okay we have do this code in with the in notepad okay according to question what question actually uh, what question according to question what we have to do like here let's just again Give, uh, give me some minute. Uh, okay. okay. Now, now, what we have to do? Now, what we have to do? We have just, uh, we have just. Wait. Now, according to question, what we have to do? We have here, here we are creating package test package. Okay, package test package. Okay, according to question, what we have to do? We have just creating test package. Okay, and uh, uh, here what we have to do? We have creating uh, class which uh, class which is in public in nature. If if the class if the given class in public in nature if the given class is in public in nature, so it is mandatory to save our file in that is class name class name and the file name should be same okay if we are declaring class as public then it is mandatory to save our file at that is class name that is foundation so our file must be foundation.java okay inside the class what we have to do we have just creating integer variable integer variable one okay which is in private in nature okay which is in private in nature now we are creating integer variable two okay integer variable two if we if we if we not declare any data type then it is default in nature okay it is default in nature now what we are going to create variable 3 which is protected in nature okay now we are going to create variable 4 which is public in nature okay we are assigning some value we are assigning some value in each variable okay now what what we want we want uh, when we compile that program when we, when we compile that program a test package was created let's uh, let's see uh, how these how these things are going okay Le uh, just wait okay uh, now uh, we open uh, one side and notepad and one side compile prompt uh, com uh, command prompt okay for uh, by using command prompt we just compile it and we just run that program for compilation what we are uh, for compilation what we are using we are using java c we are using java c okay for compilation what we are using we are using java c space minus d space dot and space foundation dot java foundation dot java is nothing but it is a class name it is a file name okay okay uh, when we use package concept when we use package concept and when we make package 
okay when we make package here we are making test package okay so for that we using java c space minus d space dot minus d for directory okay dot dot for like we are we are making we are uh, creating that file in we are creating that package in the same file okay so for for that we are using dot okay space foundation dot java is the file name after after pressing enter here here we see here we see uh, here we see no test package file are there okay just when we when we press enter and when we compile our code here what we see uh, our program get successfully compiled and we here here a test package is created okay inside the test package we have a class inside the test package we have a foundation class okay inside the test package we have a foundation class okay so our uh, our expected is that our expected is that okay now what we do we are just uh, what we do we are just uh, uh, yeah okay now we are what we do here what we do here import here we here we use import statement okay here we use import statement import test package dot foundation okay test package test package is the file name test package is the file name okay just wait okay here here test package is the file name okay so, so import test package dot dot foundation inside the test package what we have we have foundation class so for that we we need to uh, we need to import foundation class as well okay after that what we have to do we just create public class foundation one okay public class foundation one inside the class what we do we just creating main matter inside the main matter what we do we just we creating foundation class object we, because we want to we want to execute foundation class method okay foundation foundation class variable okay we want to execute foundation class variable so for that we need to create foundation class object so foundation obj equals to new foundation okay obj is the reference variable for uh, 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 by using that reference variable we call a variable 1 variable 2 variable 3 a variable 4 okay what we do here we just uh, we uh, just comment it and uh, we just uh, we just comment it okay we uh, we comment uh, we, uh, first we comment uh, uh, three uh, three of them and uh, uncomment one of them and let's try uh, let's try uh, to run our code what was its expected output yeah. now let's uh, let's compile another another file that is import uh, here we are here we are using import test package dot uh, foundation okay for that for that we we just we just compile that program that file also that program file also okay for compilation what we use we use java c okay we use java c java c minus d space dot space foundation one dot java that is uh, file name dot java okay after, uh, after compiling what we have to do we have seen here we are making here we are making up uh, foundation class okay here we are using java c here we are using java c minus d dot foundation dot java okay now just run this code for running purpose what what we use java java foundation one okay java and foundation one is a class name okay java foundation one when we run this code what we have to output we have 15 as an output okay 15 as an output here we are creating this uh, this uh, in, this integer variable as public in nature public in data types okay so public variable can be called from outside the package on outside the file also okay for private variable we can't call its default variable we can't just just do uh, just uh, just check it uh, just uncomment it just uncomment it and check it once by once once by once okay which code is run which code is not run uh, for for integer variable one compile uh, our compiler get uh, our compiler successful run or not okay thank you for watching this video have a great day uh, like uh, like our channel subscribe our channel to uh,